obviously we want it to continue to grow. Uh, with COVID having happened, you know, how, how do we grow in this pandi post-pandemic era? Uh, how can we do more in the water? How can we do more with sports as we talked about? Uh, how can we have new sponsor uh, activations and, and new partners a part of it? Uh, even as music changes, what new artists could we have? So just the new creative things that Fest events can bring to the table with this. Well, the word that comes to mind is just great diversity. Great diversity in our entertainment, our offerings, our food, our positioning, our elements to the festival that people can experience. Uh, people are going to want to continue to come back, whether it's music for millennials or, or young people or children earlier in the day or late at night. Some of the cultural uh, activities or presentations we have going throughout the day, food um, activations or, or vendors uh, and different other programs that uh, have been produced. Uh, you know, I, I just think that'll continue to have this diverse group of people be here and uh, expand even into their future. I love it these days when uh, we're also focusing on sharing and having ex exchanges and teaching our children to be multilingual. So I think that, that uh, Harbor Fest lends itself as an excellent opportunity to offer some multilingual offerings you know, to the entire community, but especially the children who are going to school and learning two languages, for example. I would love to be able to see some uh, maybe tours, in guided tours in Spanish not only of the Latin or the Latinx or the Hispanic or Latino countries, but all of them for some of the families. I think it's important to still draw those tall ships from foreign countries to give the folks the opportunity to interface with those partners that come from across the globe. This event is all about is having exchanges and getting to know more about other countries. You know, what you do shoreside as far as the concerts and that dirty boat race and a couple other things, I think you're on the right track. Hopefully the folks will continue to understand the heritage and from the maritime community and still come down and visit. Uh, but just the, just the size of the event, I love the large outdoor events and how there was something for everybody who kind of came and how that many people could just uh, enjoy in unison uh, without any violence and any conflict or anything. You know, just people could just kind of get along in massive numbers. And again, just, just flood into downtown Norfolk and just kind of put us on the map for those three or four days. Still continue the focus on our watermen, the commercial fishermen. Still you know, have the ability for them to get here, and our, especially our Tug and Bars community. That's important. We want to see the events grow. And you know, the, the Harbor Fest that we knew four decades ago has changed so much now um, in, in our present day and we, we assume that it's going to change for the better and evolve and get better, bigger, uh, as the Port of Virginia is growing, um, which, is, which is just, it's wonderful for the area and it's wonderful for the patrons who take part in the event itself. It's just kind of working in that marina and, and seeing the fireworks show from the marina and as persons would hang out on their boats and uh, you know just kind of live there for three or four days and what that meant to them annually uh, to be in the Harbor Fest Marina I just thought that was so neat uh, to see their traditions and the way they went about things and meet those guys and, and still be good friends with some of them today. Everyone has a chance to kind of get better you know from you know the brands to everything really you know so I, I think it's just uh, it's a bright future and we're super excited and happy to be a part of it.